David Dimbleby's words, you are only old once. So at 75, the Question Time host decided to fulfil a lifelong ambition. He got a scorpion tattoo on his shoulder, as you do. Well, as the broadcaster put it, the time had come to man up. And in an interview post-tattoo parlour, he seemed pretty pleased. It's modest, it can't be seen unless I choose to show it to someone. I'm rather fond of it, actually. This little scorpion sitting on my shoulder, ready to attack my enemies. This is the man who did the honours for Dimbleby, tattoo artist Paul Hill. He told me the presenter might be one of their oldest customers here at Vagabond in East London, but he's certainly one of their toughest. He had his mind set and he, he cracked straight on. And did you see him sweating? Was he sort of holding it together? He was pretty chilled, actually. A couple of squeaks here and there, but a uh, pretty tough guy, I would say. Kay, Kay Brown has our first question. Let's have it, Kay. This is usually more David's scene, but the Scorpion won't be getting much airtime on Question Time. Dimbleby said he deliberately picked somewhere you couldn't see. So how many have you got? Eight tattoos. So we asked these pensioners over pie and mash if they would do a Dimbleby. I don't see nothing wrong with it. If people want to tattoo, that's up to them. Would you get one done at 75? Yeah, if I could afford it. Man of 75, why? Why now? Not unless... He only wants one person to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he needs to do it different. He needs to get a little bit bigger, David. Just, just a bit like this one. Tim will be, I hope you're listening. This is how to do the scorpion. <laughs> it's massive. And just a little detail, David's scorpion has six legs as well as the two pincers at the top there, but technically they're supposed to have eight legs. The tattoo parlours say that's the design Dimbleby wanted. Perhaps it gives him that extra edge. Minnie Stevenson, Five News.